Hi guys and welcome to the last submission video in at least a week. Um, we've again got loads of cards here. You guys keep sending cards in as well, which we massively appreciate here. Uh, but yeah, next week basically is going to be returns week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we do have loads of returns coming back and I know a lot of you are asking where exactly are my returns. What we are trying to focus on right now is doing... Uh, so we're trying to do the submissions, do the returns, um, and then hopefully that means basically you all get your returns back quicker overall. Um, we are still communicating very often uh, daily to everyone. So, I mean, if you do have any specific inquiries, Connor at GradedGem.com or Tom at GradedGem.com is definitely the best place to go. Um, so, yeah, basically that's just the mini intro to the third video, but I can promise you there's some pretty sweet returns. Uh, that we've already filmed and we've actually already shipped out so really looking forward to share them I wanted to start today off with Michael or Poke Mike 102 on Instagram But also because he has got pretty intriguing and interesting YouTube channel uh, A lot of you guys love our investment videos we do and basically Mike goes through those sort of topics on a more um, daily, Not daily basis, but like, you know, it's more regular and it's really good to him and another opinion from a different collector Get my words out Connor. We got a massive video to do uh, So anyway, Michael you are gonna start off and you start off with a slow king from first edition from first edition from Neo Genesis first edition. It's not even that late Azuma on Neo Genesis first edition Kingdra Neo Genesis first edition Detective Pikachu We then have a Charmander from base a Bulbasaur from base what we got here, an Erica's Bulbasaur, which obviously is better than a normal Bulbasaur because Erica owns it. Very fun loving Cyndaquil. Quillava. Bayleaf. So, first edition Neo Gen yet again. Uh, loads of Bayleafs. We got a Misty's Magikarp from Gym Challenge. Couple of those. A Blaine's Growlithe. Really cool card, to be fair. I mean, I'd, I'd love my dogs. Um, so it's a really nice card. And then, of course, Lieutenant said Pikachu. I really like this Neo Gen Pikachu, actually. I think it's one that's very underrated. Uh, it's, I think it's the first one, like, in, like, showing the lightning bolts and stuff. Am I right there? I don't know. And, of course, a Charizard base to end it as well. Mike, thank you very much. Tom is up next. I know not at base at Tom, but Jolty on Tom on Instagram. So go and check that out. We're going to start off with a Clefable from Jungle. Uh, first edition fossil, beautiful card, the Raichu, the Rocket Sneak Attack, first edition, the Dark Charizard from Japanese Team Rocket, or Japanese Rocket even, uh, Houndor from Neo 2, Ancient Mew, and Ancient Mew, Tom, thank you very much. Adrian now, uh, Adrian's a big Charizard collector, at least, at least that's what I gather from his submission, 25 cards here, we have the Shining Charizard from Neo 4, the Dark Charizard Web 1st Edition, I love this card, it looks amazing in Japanese, Kawawe uh, from Burning Shadows, sorry if my pronunciation is off, Charizard EX, I'm just not going to say Charizard anymore, because basically, I think the rest of them are oh, those Zards. Haha, <laughs> see how I changed it? Uh, oh, no, I lied. There's a big fat Magnezone in there. So that's pretty cool. Toka Croak as well. I mean, I just totally lied, didn't I? I lied to all our viewers. Uh, so all four of you. Mega Charizard EX. Kangaskhan EX. A couple of those. Mega Kangaskhan EX. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's got more red hair than I do. <laughs> um, there we have Nurse, I believe. Yep. Um... Mega Kanga, I completely lied about the Zards, didn't I? I'll tell you why I spoke about the Zards. It's because, basically, this guy, yeah, that, that guy right there. Can't say ever stuck to another. Bit odd. Um, but, yeah, that one, pretty cool as well. Oh, and then the brand new Charizard Vs. I don't think anyone can wait any longer for these to come over to the UK. Uh, in English, of course. But these are going to look stunning when they do. But, Adrian, thank you very much. Josh is up next. And, Josh, we've had a good chat over emails, haven't we? Uh, we've got 50 cards here from you. And wow, we start off with base set first edition. It's always good to see base set first edition. But somehow, I don't know how this is happening, we're seeing it more than ever. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I mean, obviously, they're coming from somewhere. Uh, Venusaur, first edition base. Beedrill, first edition base. I'm going to stop saying first edition base, because otherwise, it's going to get quite annoying for you guys. Uh, Fossil, first edition now. Slowbro, the tentacrawl. Best tentacrawl art ever, isn't it? Uh, Sandslash, the Armor Star. The Magma again. I, is that a car behind it? I've always thought it was a car, but I mean, it's definitely not, is it? But it looks like a burnt out car. Who knows? Kingler again. Brilliant artwork. Graveler. Golem rolling down the hill. Golduck going through the ice or really, really cold water. One or the other. Goldbat. Gasly. Not the best artwork. Cloyster. Arbok. 
Grimer, again, not the best artwork. Enkins, I see, I've got to balance it out, guys. I can't be like, they're all great artworks. Because, I mean, that's not true. Whereas that one is a banger, isn't it? Uh, with Geodude thumping at you. If he was coming towards it, you'd be running like a little girl. Kabutops, Krabby. No, it's Kabuto. Amante, Psyduck, Shelder, Slowpoke, Tentacle, Zubat. A load of first edition. I think this is definitely going to be something that we just see now. I don't think there's going to be much first edition out there that isn't graded. At least not mint stuff. Um... I think, sure, there's going to be probably binder stuff and near mint stuff like that. But I think a lot of mint stuff is going to eventually become graded now just because, well, the value, like, basically demands it, doesn't it? Um, And also, you, even if you're going to keep them, it's just worth doing it nowadays, I think. Oddish, Rhydon, Jigglypuff, Mankey, Meowth. I do love this Meowth. This is from J Jungle. Gengar now, Fossil, and the Venusaur base. Uh, Josh, you also have some packs here and stuff. A lot of people have asked me, after we've done these submission videos, where are my packs? Where are my packs? But, like, guys, we do that in a, a separate video. End of the month, we have a big special video. We have got quite a lot of packs. You have, um, yeah, it's, it, it, I mean, imagine imagine opening them all. Let's just say that. It's stunning, some of these packs that have come through. Mark is up next, and his Instagram should be at the bottom, so please go follow. Uh, Mark is a really good guy. Uh, we've graded cards for you for a while now, haven't we? And uh, you also use our selling service where we basically sell cards for people at a small fee and we, we try and get, you know, good prices for them. It's very simple, really. Gyarados, like we try and make the grading service, uh, very simple. Deoxys, I mean, we hope that anyway. Houndoom, Kyogre, what are you doing, Mark? Come on. The best bit of Groudon. No, that's not, that's not Groudon, that's a Heatran. Come on, Mark. Dart Tricks, Mew. Uh, Level X, I can't remember this guy's name. The guy from Detect Pikachu who's massive. Another Level X. Dana. Charizard GX. I haven't seen one of these in a while, actually, from Bernie's Shadows. Beautiful card. Mega, I have seen this. Mega Charizard X. Two of them. Dragonite EX. Brox Greet. Mewtwo EX. Mega Blaster. Again, we've seen a lot of evolutions, you know, as well. Uh, this is another interesting trend. But, Mark, thank you very much for another stunning submission. Todd is up next, and Todd is going to start off with a Mewtwo EX. 20 cards Todd has. we got the Wobbuffet as well. The Azumarill Reverse. Really cool card, actually, that one in Japanese. You just don't see the reverse uh, Japanese cards come through too often, like the hair across there. But like when you look at the artworks, you think it's totally worth getting them graded, especially if we can get them back in that gem in 10. Love these energies with the legendaries. So that's obviously Celebi. We've got the Feraligator, Porygon, Zed. And what is that arm from? What is that arm from? That's not from a Pokemon, is it? Um, Dust Ball, maybe? Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. Charizard and Brexton GX. Gyarados GX from Crimson Invasion. Dragonite GX from Unified Minds. There's so many good GX cards now from the Sun and Moon era. It's definitely worth picking a few of them up. Mr. Mime GX. And, well, getting them into us, I would hope. But otherwise, it's definitely worth getting them up and grading them. Marnie now looking very moody and sassy. Professor's Research. Bede, we've been fighting this guy on the Sword and Shield live stream. So, uh, yeah, go and check those out as well. And then we have Professor Sycamore from Steam Siege. Thank you very much, Todd. Moving on to Toby now. Toby has 12 cards this time around. And we have the Shaman EX looking very cute indeed. I know Tom would like this one. The Articuno from Supreme Victors. Articuno, Moltres, and uh, Zapdos, they have some beautiful artworks. But the Supreme Victors trio is probably one of the best. Uh, we then have the Charizard Reverse from Legendary Collection. What else can I say about that but fireworks? Um, Red's Pikachu. The Easter Pikachu as well. Ponyta uh, Reverse. Obviously, this is one of the secret rares. Beautiful. The Articuno from Generations. And the Mew EX. What a stunner from Radiant Collection. Mega Charizard EX. Shining Mew. Moltres Aptos, uh, the Stain Class, and the Shaman EX. A really nice, well-balanced submission there, Toby. Thank you. Vinny now, and Vinny has got three cards. The Charizard Reverse from Evolutions, the Zapdos Reverse, and the Mega Venusaur EX. So best of luck, Vinny. Uh, it looks like you've put these yourselves. So, I mean, that's always a cool factor. Vinny, three cards. Thank you. Moving on to David now. David has got the five cards and a Magneton fan by the looks of it. Magneton, Japanese basic. Dark Magneton from Team Rocket. Leturges, you guessed it, Magneton. Magneton reverse from Evolutions. And then a Koga's Beedrill. Um, bit odd there, but yeah, five cards. Thank you very much. Tyson is up next, or at Yugi and Stuff to Sell. Uh, so a massive Yu-Gi-Oh card submitter. 
often get loads of these things through. Uh, we got Dark Magic, Magic Attack with Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, a couple of those. We have the Ghost Rare, of course, as well, a couple of those. These are really nice. So these are field center cards. Um, so they've like got some sort of transparency. They remind me of the transparent tops that we have in Pokemon. Really cool. Charizard EX. That's not a Blue Eyes White Dragon. What are you doing? Uh, Necro Valley, Trihorn Dragon. Steelix now from Neo Gen. Again, look at these field center cards. That one's not transparent, of course, but yeah, really nice. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Togetic Neo, Venusaur Base Set 2. It's beyond Delta Species. You know you're going to get a shout out from me if you submit Delta. Delcati EX, Rayquaza EX, stunning card. Rapidash EX Fire Red Leaf Green. Typhlosion number 17, obviously the Japanese version. Tyranitar from Aquapolis. Some of these are pretty beaten up, and I'd imagine you know that. Um, Clefable from Expedition. Blaziken from EX Emerald, the Marowak from EX Fire Red Leaf Green, a Kyogre EX, what are you doing Tyson, Groudon's the man, can you not see him behind me, that's the one you should be submitting, oh you did, to be fair, I'll allow that, I'll allow that, uh, we then have the Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Elemental Heroes actually, I'm surprised we don't see more of those, because uh, like the people I do know that like Yu-Gi-Oh, they seem to be quite popular characters or character fiction, um, I don't know why we don't see more of the cards come through. Maybe the value's not there. I don't know. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think that's some sort of secret rare. The Charizard GX. Some sort of Charizard GX. I think we got a few of those. The Typhlosion from Neo 1. And another. The Ho-Oh EX. This time from Pop Series 3. Beautiful card. Polyrath from Neo 2. Dark Tyranitar. Blastoise. It's Crystal Guardians Reverse, might I add. Dark Blastoise from 1st Edition. From Team Rocket. Not 1st Edition. Dark Dugtrio. Dark Slowbro with the Rocket Man in the background. The Rocket Man. And the Light Togetic from Neo 4. Tyson, another stunning submission. Thank you. Jamie next, and he has submitted 80 cards. A big bulk of cards here. Two big stacks. Of course, we've got the Pikachu promos, the Sailor ones, which are really cool and unique, aren't they? Uh, I mean, they, they just don't seem to run out of ideas with Pikachu, do they? Eevee and Pikachu running around in the grass. Charizard EX, a Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny, and the Kabutops. Gyarados from Sky Ridge. Where do you rate this on your Sky Ridge Hollows? Because I think it's, it's got to be up there as number one, maybe. Yep, I'm going to say that. Kabutops from Sky Ridge. Ho-Ho from Neo Revelation. The Suicune as well. Koga's Ditto. Giovanni's Nido King. The Mashamp coming at you with Thunderous Fist. Couple of those. The Rockets Mewtwo, or the Squeeze Rockets Mewtwo, I like to call it. Because it's got this tiny little holofoil, and it's like they've just had to shrink Mewtwo into a little newt. Misty's Gyarados. Koga from Gym Challenge. we got the Misty from Gym Heroes. And there it is, my favourite card of all time, the Light Arcanine. So you get an extra five seconds on video for that. The Light Dragonite as well. Dark for Alligator. Wow, you're really trying to get on my side here, Jamie, by submitting De Neo Destiny. Dark Tyranitar. Ultra Pro having a bit of a problem, but we will crack on anyway. Two Dark Tyranitars, a Dark Gengar, the Dark Typhlosion looking amazing. Entei now from Neo Rev, Tyranitar from Neo... Where have you got all these Neo cards from? Unlimited, you've done so well. Like, it's difficult to pick these up right now anywhere. The Espeon, of course, Yorsering First Edition, and Mewtwo from Pokemon Rumble. I love this card. I love the Pokemon Rumble cards. They look so different. And the Rayquaza EX from EX Dragon. And we continue with Jamie's awesome submission. We have the Mega Magma EX, the Chansey EX, Ruby and Sapphire. What kicked off all of the EX sets, which just seems to be so popular right now. It's crazy. I know everything in Pokemon's booming, but I don't know. Sometimes I kind of feel like Watts is its own little bubble. I mean, I don't mean like a market bubble. You know what I mean? It's in its own little collecting scene. It seems to have spread to EX sets now. Uh, we then have the Pikachu. Really cool. Let it out of Plasticine. Pop Series 2. The Ivasaur from Pop Series 3. The Arcanine looking magnificent. The Hollow Shine is epic. Pinsir, no uh, jungle symbol. Glyphable as well. Again, a set that I love. The Kanga Scan from No Jungle Symbol. We had a PSA 10 comeback. I don't think that one is, but we did. Uh, then we have, oh wow. A really nice expedition. I mean, E Series Reverse Falls for me are quite underrated. Like, I think they look stunning. Obviously, Legendary Collection. Uh, maybe puts all of them out of the water. But yeah, E-Series uh, Reverse fo Foils are definitely up there. The Tyranitar from Neo 2, the Houndall, the Houndoom. Rockets Moltres now. The Light Arcanine yet again, do love to see it. Leafeon EX, the Mew EX. I think if you get this in the right way, look at the how the camera picks that up. 
Wow, shiny, shiny. Um, then we have the Sword and Shield promo with all the new starters, if I can remember them. I do remember Sobble, because that's the one I wear. Um, and we do have Sobble there, a couple of those. And then, of course, the Graffiti Artist Pikachu, which is how we input it into PSA. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Epic submission. Up next is Alex. Alex was actually telling me off on Instagram for uh, not being in the first submission video. If I remember rightly, you were in the first submission and you were the first submitter last time. So this time you are in the third one. I do apologise. It wasn't intentional. Uh, friendy boy on Instagram or the exact thing will be down below. So please go and follow. We have the Mew Blackstar promo. A couple of those. A couple. I say a couple. I mean three of those. Then the hollow one as well. So sought after right now for whatever reason. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Nagandal. Rowlet and Alone. Executor GX. The Aerodactyl GX from Unified Minds Hyper. The Brox Geodude First Edition. The Mist is Poliwell. The Mist is Tentacle. Blaine's Charmander First Edition from Gym Heroes. Energy Flow First Edition from Gym Heroes. How cool is that? The Mist is Goldeen. Lieutenant Surge's Ratata. Sabrina's Drowsy, doing that thing where basically you go to sleep immediately. Erica's Perfume, with Gloom looking very odd in the background, I must add. Uh, Sabrina ESP, so that's like where you share the experience points, I think. Mewtwo and Mew GX, stunning card. God Jump and Giratina. And last but not least, we have Big Mouth Aerodactyl, otherwise known as Aerodactyl GX. Thank you very much for this awesome submission, Alex. Lewis up next. And Lewis, again, we've had good chats over email, haven't we? And we're actually going to start off with Dragon Ball Z, and I think we're going to end on it as well. Yes, we are. But anyway, let's not spoil the party too early. We have Cells Earth Destroyed. I do apologise. My Dragon Ball Z Super is not up there in terms of knowledge as it is with Pokemon or even Yu-Gi-Oh! But I am trying to learn uh, Cell, the unthinkable perfection. The artworks is what I really love on this. I think Pokemon could definitely take some inspiration from some of these. Master Roshi there, especially on the trainer arts. Don't get me wrong, some of them are epic, but look at that behind. The whole scenery behind it looks stunning. Son Gohan and Father Son Kamahami Goku and Gohan Return. I hope I haven't just butchered the pronunciation of that. Freezer and Freezer the Planet Wrecker. Cooler and Cooler Revenge Transformed. Lewis, epic submission. CJ is up next with two cards. We have both base set cards. We have the Charizard from base and the Gary from base as well. So best of luck to you, CJ, and thanks for submitting with Grady Gem. Jazz underscore Spartacus up next from Instagram. Uh, we got the Typhlosion 17, a very hot card at the moment. Everyone is trying to get any sort of grade, especially on this first edition. Um, to be fair, it doesn't even look awful. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Kingdra on the first edition. Then Aerodactyl first edition Fossil. I mean, where are people getting these first editions from? I can't pick them up anywhere. Raichu Fossil first edition. Venusaur from base. Another Venusaur. We then have the Blastoise now. Another Blastoise. Another Blastoise. Another Blastoise. Another... No, that's the one to Charizard. The Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. Shining Celebi and Volcanion. And Mew, and let me guess, and Lugia, and let me guess, and another Lugia uh, from Neo 1. The Umbreon looks magnificent. It's got to be the best Umbreon art, hasn't it? Um, anyway, Espeon as well. Blaine's Moltres from Jim. Very, very difficult even to get the gem on the Jim one because there's so much holofoil that you can just have a tiny hairline scratch and it just means a mint 9. The Tyranitar from Neo 2. Charizard from Expedition Hollow. It's not a card you actually see very often submitted. I just don't think there was that many of them printed, like in comparison to the other Charizards out there. The Raikou Gold Star, no symbol Snorlax. Tyranitar First Edition, Mewtwo from E1, and the Mew as well. The Raichu, Gyarados uh, First Edition German, I believe. Pipe, same again. The Volnona, otherwise known as Ninetales. The Nokchan, the Quapo. The Elect Four, of course, these are different languages now, and the Clefairy. Thank you very much. That's Jazz underscore Spartacus on Instagram. Ben is up next, and that is Ben underscore Holbrook underscore on Instagram. We have the Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions, a first edition matchup. Blazicon GX. This is actually isn't a card we pulled ourselves here at Graded Gem. We did have quite a few of the boosters, but we didn't get this one. So beautiful one to see. Uh, the Moltres First Edition, the Reshiram and Charizard, nothing to say about that. NBA Hopes, Zeon. We then have Luka Doncic, uh, very familiar on this channel. Uh, basketball seems to be a big thing at the moment, and we are just seeing more and more of those cards. We then have the Bat Signal, I mean Hero Signal from Yu-Gi-Oh! And the Pikachu, Toys R Us promo as well. Stunning submission, thank you. 
Next up is Jesse, and Jesse is going to submit 10 cards with Grady Gen this time. Starting off with, you know, a real top contender there. The Reshi Ram and Charizard, the Mewtwo GX. I love how the camera shows this off in the shine nowadays. The Gardevoir GX, the Blastoise GX, the Jesse and James from uh, Hidden Fates, of course. The Zamazenta, look at that shine. Uh, and all the different colours in there. Beautiful. Zamazenta V, Electro GX, a Blastoise from base, the Raichu and Alone Raichu that just look like Teddy's really, and the Venusaur 2. Thank you very much, Jesse. Top submission. Tom is up next, and Tom has 19 cards, starting off with the Charizard EX from Evolutions, the Mega Charizard EX, the Mega Charizard EX yet again, the Charizard Hollow. We still need a 10 coming via the channel. Uh, Demon Rings Pokemon did like a whole thing where, and they just got nines. And I'll tell you what, that isn't because of PSA. This thing just, for some reason, it come out of the Evolutions packs with whitening somewhere or a scuff or something, even brand new. Uh, so Charizard there, Charizard Reverse Foil, the Mega Blastoise EX, and the Mega Venusaur. Again, more Evolutions. Celebi and Venusaur, Pikachu and Zekrom, the Ho Ho and Suicune. I love that Suicune. Um, I'd love to have that Suicune in PSA 10 in my collection, to be honest. If you've got one and you're not trying to sell it to me for five grand, then let me know. Uh, Moltres, Fossil, Dark Blastoise Team Rocket, Dark Dragonite Team Rocket, a couple of those. Dark Gary now, the Dark Charizard, the Dark Blastoise, and of course, the Rocket's Moltres from Jim Heroes. Thank you very much, Tom. Lorenzo is up next with 12 cards. The Charizard GX from, well, you know where that's from. Do I really need to say? The Lily now from Ultra Prism. The Espeon GX. Moltres, Zapdos, and the Articuno in the Hyper Rare from Hidden Fates. Charmeleon. I do love the Charmeleon, the Charmander. I mean, I really do love them. Uh, I really like a lot of the half art cards, actually, from Shiny Vault. Mega Charizard EX. Charizard and Brexon GX. Reshi Ram and Charizard GX, Reshi Ram and Charizard GX, and of course the Charizard GX from Hidden Fates as well. Lorenzo, I mean, yeah, you can't get much better than that. Congrats. Adrian, you are up next with 12 cards, and don't they look cool? Look at those Pokeballs coming out of the card. If I just angle it correctly, of course, the Ladybad there, the Slow King. I'm just trying to keep the angle right. The Hoot Hoot, so they just look the best. Obviously, these are from Pokemon Movie the 2000. The Lugia is the big one. Um, the Lugia is the big one. If you can get that one in a top grade, then you're doing very well. The Ellie Kid, uh, Blossom, and we have the Mashup First Edition. No point angling the cards anymore. Fossil First Edition, Raichu, Dark Charizard, Charizard from base, and the Dark Dragonite. Look how powerful he looks. Team Rocket's Meowth as well. Adrian, thank you very much for submitting via Graded Gem. Jack is up next. Jack, we've had good talks on the phone discussing what cards would be worth sending off. This is Jail Steel Auctions on eBay. We will leave a link uh, down below in the uh, yeah where your name is and where the timestamp is. So go check out that eBay store. Going to have these cards hopefully back PSA graded soon enough as well. The Pikachu Reverse from EX Sandstorm. The Umbreon from Near Discovery. Mac Meowth Game Boy Promo. Electrode EX from Fire Red Leaf Green. I still need the PSA telling this, and I know there's two out there, and I know that they're asking for a 750 pounds, um, which I find absurd considering I bought the rest of the collection minus the Blastoise and the Gengar for less than a thousand. Um, but I mean, you know, the market has changed, so like that's just one of the realities I'm gonna have to dig my teeth into eventually, aren't I? If I want to complete my set, which I do, uh, the Dark Blastoise from Team Rocket, Raichu Fossil. Lapras Fossil, the Lapra, the Kabutops Fossil, Hitmon Lee, Haunter as well, the Gengar, Dragonite, beautiful cards actually, from Fossil, load of them, uh, Aerodactyl, Snorlax from Jungle, Jungle doing his little wave, uh, Nido Queen, we have the Kangaskhan, Electro, it's really good to see, like all the artworks in one go, the Zapdos, Venusaur, Raichu, Poliwrath, Ninetales, Jack actually, I believe, had these in like in his folder with his brother. Am I right in saying that? Um, and basically, he just asked us what we think is worth grading. And at the moment, like these cards only have to be in like near minty condition to be worth grading. I think that's why we're seeing, you know, a, a lot of submissions, which we do hugely appreciate, guys. We really do. The Chansey and the Blastoise as well. Thank you very much, Jack. Kieran is up next with 50 cards. Erica's Dragonair there from Jim Heroes. The Pikachu from SM183. I love this. This is Pikachu Outbreak, so it's like loads have just escaped. 
uh, at the fun fair there by the looks of it with a ferris wheel in the background pikachu looking very cool and collected with pella pippa uh this is really cool this is like a comedian um pikachu getting pikachu outbreak side up munch munch cards like when these came out i remember we got like a load like a load um and now like we just don't see them that often which is interesting isn't it like it's how the market's basically just it's taken all of them off Gyarados now, look at that reverse, stunning. Really like that actually. Um, Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. <laughs> a load of sailing Pikachu. Uh, obviously a Pikachu fan uh, by the looks of it, but then again, Pikachu, who isn't a fan of Pikachu? We then have the Lady Babbit, maybe you're more than most of us. The Rowlet, the Eevee. This is a really nice card, like it really is from the Pokemon Monsters anime collection. Like, I like, I don't like all of these, I must admit. Like, you know when they've just got singular Pokemon in them? Because then I'm like, a Pokemon card's better. But when they've got the different artwork, the different trainers, the different Pokemon in them, yeah, they're stunning. Especially the Prisms. Uh, graffiti Artist, Pikachu. Slow Kings. Interesting we had those in again. Uh, Prisms, Friends. Jigglypuff, been drawn all over. The Mew from Tops, really cool. Prism again. Again, again, I love that one. With Jesse and James and Meowth. Really cool prism. The Altaria, Shining Lugia, Shining Lugia Japanese. The Swablu, I, I don't know if I can get that on camera. There we go, look at that. The Love Hearts, really nice. Ho Ho GX, the Dene, Reshiram and Charizard GX. The Blastoise GX from Unbroken Bonds. God of War and Sylveon. First edition Neo Gen. Pichu, Ampharos looking out at the sunset. Dragonite swooping low. Glaceon looking like she's on the moon of Endor. Articuno, Light Dragonite from Neo 4, Rowlet Munch, Pikachu he wants to give you a hug, Eevee about to go into a cave, Magneton, Mewtwo GX, and we have the Latias and the Eevee. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Kieran. Moving on to Audris, and that is sports cards time on Instagram. So as you can imagine, there might be a few sports cards in here, which there is, and um, we do begin with Kobe. Uh, from LA Lakers, then we have rated uh, rookies, loads of these, I mean we are seeing a huge increase in like, just of basketball cards, just in general, of volume and quality, high quality stuff coming in, uh, very high value things, it's interesting isn't it, because I, I mean I wouldn't say basketball is overly popular in the UK, uh, but it's definitely very popular in Europe in places, and I think it's definitely gaining more popularity, Especially during lockdown, of course, because, um, you know, people get to watch the old basketball stuff. You're not going to go and watch an old Premier League game. Um, we then have this NBA hoops. RJ Barrett looking very swag. Uh, Jay Morant. Of course, Jay Morant. I believe, I think, is this right? He was like the highest scorer uh, before they had to end the season because of COVID. Uh, so a very popular card right now to be sending in. Especially if this guy keeps going with his form. Uh, we then have Zion Williamson couple of those as well uh nba Ho hoops tribute the prism card luka Doncic. that i love that pose there going up into the sky a couple few of those now um luka Doncic, very very popular card to be fair isn't it just see it all the time um trey young now again i love the poses where they're actually like doing a slam dunk or something you can imagine the photographers just waiting there at all time just to make sure he gets that shot Trey Young again, different sort of backgrounds. Then we move on to NBA Hoops again. See, I like these sorts of cards, the ones that are a bit different. So you've got like a picture of him. I don't know whether that's when he was younger or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's so obviously they do them in the colleges, don't they? So maybe that was a college photo. We have My House here, Chicago Boobs, Kobe White. Um, my House again, Joe Morant from Memphis. Donovan Mitchell, Lonzo Ball, Lonzo Ball again. We then have Tyler Hero or Hero, I don't know which one you say that, with the Christmassy background, I believe, and Kobe White again. Audrey Sports Tire Card Time on Instagram. Go follow, go check it out, especially if you're into this stuff. It's good to get uh, into the community. But yeah, thank you very much for your submission. Actually left, Matthew, Pokemon Master Shenron. If you got to this point in the video, you have to go and follow Pokemon Master Shenron because I did not mean to leave you at the end of the video, but I guess someone has to be there. But Matthew, I mean... 
people should stay until this part of the video because wow, you have sent in an epic submission. We got the Charizard from Expedition, the Typhlosion First Edition 17. It's not bad, guys. It's it's genuinely not bad. The Dart for Alligator from Neo Destiny, obviously one of my favourite set. Well, it is my favourite set. The Espeon from Neo Discovery, the Dart Blastoise, the Dark Charizard. Dark Dragonite, these are non hollows this time. The Dark Arbok First Edition. The Dark Dug Trio. Again, very much going after my sort of sets. The Team Rocket, I like it. Uh, Dark Gyarados. Dark Hypno. Mashamp reaching out here. The Magneton. You imagine get a 10 on this, eh? Could you imagine? So difficult to get. Um, again, like, I didn't even grade mine. I had to swap it. Uh, Dark Vile Plume First Edition. Dark Weezing. Here comes Team Rocket. Rocket Sneak Attack. Rainbow Energy as well. You've done really well to have that first edition set. Mashop, um, obviously Shadowless, as is the Ponyta. you got the Psychic Energy from Banks and the Leaf Energy. What a great submission to end on. Guys, many thanks for watching. Uh, myself and Tom both appreciate the channel has grown a lot. A lot of you, who maybe were just casual viewers, have now pressed that subscriber button. And you know what? We just really appreciate that. So I'm not going to nag on about that. If you could like this video, that would be appreciated. And hell, why don't you comment below? Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. And look at these two. Can't wait for them to come back. All the best.